Lesson 2. Essential Question. How does Earth's surface change slowly? Engage your brain. Find the answer to the following question in this lesson and record it here. This glacier is moving slowly. How is it affecting the land around it? Active reading. Lesson vocabulary. List the terms. As you read, make notes about them in the interactive glossary. Signal words. Main idea. Words that signal a main idea include most important and in general. Active readers remember what they read because they are alert to signal words that identify important ideas. What weathering can do. Animals, plants, water, and temperature are just some of the things that can change Earth's surface. Active reading. As you read these two pages, underline details about what water does to change Earth's surface. Weathering is the breaking down of rock into smaller pieces. This can happen when tree roots push into the surface of rock. It can happen when animals burrow into the ground. Weathering is often caused by patterns of freezing and thawing. As winter nears, the weather gets colder. Rain falls into cracks in rock and freezes. As liquid water turns to ice, it expands. This widens the cracks. When the ice melts or thaws, the rock is weaker. Pieces crumble and fall away. Little by little, the shape of the rock changes. Smaller pieces of rock may become part of the soil. Change takes time. Changing seasons cause patterns of freezing and thawing. This is one way weathering happens. Water moves into cracks and stays there. Weathering by water has caused these rocks to become rounded. Freezing water has also caused some of the rocks to crack. The water freezes. Ice forms in the cracks. The ice takes up more space than the liquid water did. The ice widens the cracks. Pieces of rock may break off. Draw the next stage of weathering for this rock. Erosion motion. Water, wind, and glaciers never stop moving. They carry soil, rocks, and sand along with them. Over time, this movement changes the shape of the land. Active reading. As you read, circle a word or a phrase that signals a main idea. In general, erosion happens when soil, rocks, or sand are moved. Wind, water, and glaciers can all cause erosion. It happens everywhere. When waves at a beach wash away sand, that's erosion. When wind blows sand in a desert, that's erosion. When rainfall carries mud into a river, that's erosion. Glaciers are another cause of erosion. A glacier is a large, thick sheet of moving ice. Glaciers slide along slowly. As they move, many glaciers cut paths through the ground. They pick up pieces of weathered rock, sand, and soil. Glaciers push or carry the rocks and soil as they move. Sometimes glaciers move enough soil to form a whole island. Wind and waves cause weathering as they hit the rock. This breaks the rock into smaller pieces. Wind and water move sand. This erosion causes one part of the beach to become smaller. Another part of the beach becomes larger when the eroded sand is left there. Over time, erosion can cause big changes. It has caused this beach to become much smaller than it once was. When this lighthouse was built, it was far from the cliff's edge, but wind and waves have weathered and eroded the cliff. Now the lighthouse must be moved to a safer spot. Sand, soil, and small rocks erode away. The eroded material moves into the water and away from the land. Do the math. Solve a word problem. A lighthouse is 60 meters from the edge of a cliff. The cliff erodes by 3 meters each year. How long will it take for the edge of the cliff to reach the lighthouse? Show your work. Why it matters. Soil moves around. 
Erosion can ruin fields and forests by taking away soil the plants need. But soil that is washed away from one place can help plants in another place. Active reading. As you read, underline the harmful and helpful effects of erosion. As a river flows between its banks, soil and rocks are swept along. The water carries them downstream. Now there is less soil on the river banks. Tree roots may be uncovered. Plants that need the soil may be affected. Without the support of their roots anchored in deep soil, the trees may fall. But soil that is washed away from a riverbank ends up somewhere else. As a river nears the ocean, the water moves more slowly. The rocks and soil in the river are dropped. This process makes a landform called a delta. A river delta is full of rich soil. Water has eroded soil from this river bank. These trees may soon fall. The river's motion carries soil downstream. This leaves less soil for the plants that are growing here. As a river nears the ocean, the water slows. Soil and rocks in the river are left behind. Over time, the rocks and soil form a delta. The rich soil of a river delta is a great place for plants to grow. Cause and effect. Fill in the blanks to tell the causes and effects of erosion. 1. Moving water carries rocks and blank downstream. 2. Growing blank along the riverbanks may become loose. 3. Tree blank may be uncovered causing the trees to fall. 4. The rocks and soil may be deposited, forming a blank. Sum it up. When you're done, use the answer key to check and revise your work. Fill in the missing words in the summary. Then complete the cause and effect graphic organizer. Summarize. Weathering and erosion are two processes that, one, blank the shape of Earth's surface. When large pieces of rock are broken down into smaller pieces, it is called, two, blank. Erosion is when, three, blank. Wind or glaciers carry these smaller rocks to new places. Erosion can change beaches and riverbanks by taking sand and, four, blank, away but it can also make new landforms such as River 5 blank. Cause. Waves crash against a cliff. Effect. 6 blank. Cause. 7 blank. Effect. A lighthouse needs to be moved. Lesson 2. Brain check. Wordplay. 1. Use the words in the box at the bottom of the page to complete the puzzle. Across. 2. A river carries soil here. 4. To melt after freezing. 5. This part of a plant can cause weathering. 8. When wind and water move rocks, sand, or soil. 9. A large moving sheet of ice. 10. When a solid turns to a liquid. Down. 1. Breaking of rock into smaller pieces. 3. Another word for stones. 6. Change from a liquid to a solid. 7. When this is washed away, plants cannot grow. Rocks. Thaw. Glacier. Melt. Soil. Delta, weathering, root, erosion, freeze. Key lesson vocabulary. Apply concepts. 2. For each picture, draw how the object in the picture would change. Lighthouse plus time plus waves equals statue plus time plus rain equals Tree plus time plus rushing river equals 3. Name two things that can happen when soil is eroded by a river.
Take it home. With your family, talk about weathering and erosion. Identify something in your neighborhood that has changed over time because of these processes.